Okay, let's take a look at what we call solving systems of equations by elimination. This is a method in which we look to get rid of one of the variables by making them cancel out. Now, it doesn't matter which variable you decide to get rid of. Um, I'm going to go for the first one, so I'm going to get rid of the S's. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the numbers in front of the letter S a 3 and a 4. And I'm going to think to myself, what is the common denominator between these numbers? What's the common number? Like if you were going to do fractions and you had a 3 on the bottom of one fraction and a 4 on the other and you had to add them together, what would be your common denominator? Now one way it's real easy to find the common denominator, and it doesn't matter so much with this application as it does with um, with fractions, it's you could just multiply the two numbers together. Um, so 3 times 4 is 12. When we do fractions, we really want the least common denominator. In this case, if it's not the least common denominator, it doesn't even really matter. Okay, so it's still going to get us to the same place at the end. So I want to turn these S's into a 12. Okay, So I'm going to take the first equation and I'm going to say, okay, I've got a 3s's, I want to turn them into 4s's, or I want to turn them into 12s's, sorry, what am I going to multiply by? And the answer would be 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the whole equation by that. I'm allowed to do this, but only if I multiply the entire equation by 4. You can't do it to just one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do some multiplying and get my first equation. 12s plus 12t equals 40. Now let's look at our second equation. Now the goal of this is to get the numbers to cancel out. So I do want the 12 on the bottom, so I am going to multiply it by 3. 3 times 4 being 12, but we want it to be the opposite sign because we want them to cancel out. A 12 and a negative 12 are going to cancel each other out, and that's what we want to happen. So I'm going to multiply by negative 3, and what that's going to create is a negative 12s. So they're going to cancel out. We'll see how that works in just a second. Negative 3 times negative 9 be 27. A positive 27, and be really careful with your signs. Negative 3 times negative 12, or negative 4 would be positive 12. Now what we're aiming to do is add these fractions together, or add these equations together. So, when I add my s's together, they're 12 and a negative 12, they go away. That was my whole goal in doing that and getting what we call set up for elimination. That's the entire idea behind this theory. So they go away. I'm going to add my um, t's together. And then I'm going to add my numbers together. We're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 39 to get 59 over or 52 over 39. Now I do want to um, simplify that if at all possible. So I'm going to try and think of um, factors of 39. That's the easiest one to look at because there aren't many numbers that actually go into 39 evenly. And I think the one you're going to find that you could simplify by is 13. So we're going to divide the top and the bottom by 13. And I'm going to get 4 thirds. Okay, that would be my solution for t. Now you're not quite done yet because we do have to find s. Um, so I'm going to take my original equation, and it doesn't honestly matter what original equation you use. I'm just going to use the top one um, just because... That's the first one. Um, 3s plus 3t equals 10. And what we want to do is we want to fill this 4 thirds in for t. And we're going to go ahead and solve for s.
Now what I'm going to notice is the 3 on the top and the bottom cancel. So what I'm left with is 3s plus 4 equals 10. And I'll go ahead and solve. and divide to finish out my solving. And that, my friends, is solving via elimination or addition. They're actually the same, same process. They do have two different names. So at the end, I got t was 4 thirds, and s was 2. That would be my final answer. So just remember, think carefully about what your goals are. First step, eliminate a variable by multiplication, getting those common numbers. We want what we call a common coefficient or a common number in front of a variable. And we want one to be positive, one to be negative. Adding your equations together um, to, to eliminate one variable and simplify the others. Solving for one letter and then using that to solve for another.